today for dinner i'm making some homemade meatloaf okay all my seasonings slap your mama got some black pepper onion garlic powder minced onion meat tenderizer soul food seasoning salt free seasoning chicken bouillon seasoning salt got some butter got some smoked turkey tails for my cabbage got my cabbage got my ketchup and sweet baby rays for my seasoning i got brown sugar and sugar too and I forgot to put my eggs up here. I got cheeses to add for my macaroni and cheese. And shells. I got chicken tenders for my son. Breadcrumbs. Vegetarian. Cornbread mix. Jiffy. Got my nutmeg. Ground cinnamon. Vanilla. Sweet potatoes. Onions. Colorful peppers. Let's get started today. I already put my brown sugar. Sugar. Butter. Vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, and my princess sweet potatoes. You can see I got my salsa glove for the hamburger and the chicken tenders. I have my yellow, orange, and green peppers and onions for the meatloaf on the plate. And for my cabbage, I'm put a little of the colored peppers and some onions for more flavor. And I'm about to put my smoked turkey tail. I'm about to cut the cabbage. You see, I cut the center parts out of my cabbages, and then I slice it up. Clean up my cabbage. Got my bleach water ready. And then I'm about to put my meatloaf and stuff together to put in. Put oven. one of these smoked turkey tails in here. Got a little water. Got me some milk, banana pepper. I'm gonna pour some of the juice. Little seasoning salt. So, I'm gonna pour a little of the canola oil. Just a little. Even though I put a little banana pepper, I put a little distilled vinegar. You don't have to, but I do. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Little minced chopped onions. And soul food seasoning. And last but not least, some of my chicken bouillon. Get a little sprinkle of sugar. And my chicken bouillon, because I had to open it. I washed it two times. I'm going to put a little more onion powder, garlic powder, and the no salt seasoning. A little of the soul food seasoning. And a little crushed red pepper, even though it has a little in the salt free seasoning. But you don't want it spicy. And I forgot to put some black pepper, it was hiding. But just a little because the salt free seasoning has a lot of pepper. And there you go. We should try to push it down a little. Ooh. Then my peppers and onions on top. And I'm gonna put it on seven to let it cook. Sweet potatoes on four. And I'm gonna cut my cabbage on eight. I'm gonna move this one. This pot is for my macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna put this over here for the meatloaf. Come 
my eggs. I have to run away. <clears throat> so, have the cabbage on now. What I'm gonna do is put the top on it. Then, about to mix that for my little extra sugar and eggs that I put for my beet loaf. No, for my cornbread. Some butter and let it cook down. Got my eggs and sugar ready so I can make my cornbread. Got my sweet potatoes on. So I got my hamburger meat, my three eggs, my great, my colorful onions, well, my colorful peppers and onions. And I'm gonna mix it in and put in my seasonings. Got all my seasons in. Even my, put a little ketchup in there too. Got my breadcrumbs. All my seasons. Now I'm about to mix it all up. And I'll be right back. My meatloaf mixture. So I'm going to get the pan and form it. So I put it in the oven. How nice and form my meatloaf is. I'm going to put some foil on it. Got the oven on 400. And cook it until it's brown. And done in the middle for like an hour and a half. So I have it and turn it to six now. And I taste the juice. It's almost done. The flavor good. Camera. I'm gonna put the top back on here. Let this finish cooking. Wait until that's thickened up a little. Got my eggs, milk, all my stuff. From the cornbread, so I can mix it up and bake it. The vegan kind, vegetarian kind, because the regular Jiffy Mix has lard in it, which is pork. And my sister don't eat pork. So, they all taste the same still to me. But, I'm going to finish mixing this up and put it in this pan. After I grease it a little, then I'm going to start my chicken in this pan. Cornbread mixture is mixed up. to go in the oven for 45 minutes. Cabbage almost done. Put it on two. Sweet potatoes is almost done. I'm gonna cut that on one. Put a little oil in here. I got my grease ready for my chicken. This is what this is. This stuff right here and this. I use the knife and I pull and cut it off. Take it off. This is that skin looking stuff and this is that little gristle thing whatever but I'm about to pound my chicken a little so it don't be tough Just a little. All my chicken batter now. Now, time to cook. Fry it. Switch the cabbage pot over here. Boil it for my 
macaroni's here. I'm like, what are doing in here? I always take the cheese back out and sit them on here to stay warm. Cabbage done. Get it almost done. Now I took the floor off the meat off and let it cook for another 30 minutes. Chicken is done. Taking it out. Macaroni noodles is done. I cut it on low so when I mix it all the cheese. Now the pepper. And now all my cheeses and some milk. Got my cube cheese, the cheese that comes with the pack, shredded cheese, a little butter. Then you just mix it in. Cause it's all melted. cornbread out nice and golden got me some butter chicken done now all I'm waiting for is the meatloaf and I'm about to put my make my sauce to put on it so y'all can see what I put on my meatloaf Now it's nice and buttery. Cabbage done. Sweet potatoes done. Cabbage done. I moved it off the eye. I'm gonna cut the eye on five so I can melt the cube of cheese in here. Nice and cheesy. I'm gonna let this melt. And now I'm about to make my sauce for brown sugar in the bowl. Got some ketchup. Squeeze. Add some honey barbecue sweet baby berries. Don't measure it, you just measure it to your taste. Now I'm about to mix it all yeah. over with my ketchup. And this is what I call my meatloaf glaze. It's barbecue sauce, mainly ketchup, and a little brown sugar. You want to make sure it's all mixed up. And there you go. The meatloaf is done. Nice and brown, firm. And what I'm about to do is pour the grease off of it. So I can put my glaze on it and put it back in the oven for at least 15 minutes. Pour the glaze on top. So let's cover it all the way up. Now in the oven for 15 minutes with the foil off. Macaroni is all cheesy and done. Cornbread done. Chicken tenders done. Sweet potatoes done. Cabbage done. Now. Meatloaf is glazed and done. Now it's time to smash. Dinner is served. Make some cornbread, chicken tenders, macaroni and cheese, with all the good cheesy, some sweet potatoes, cabbage with smoked turkey tails, and a meatloaf with my homemade glaze. What I like to do to show y'all how it looks. Nice and juicy. See all the veggies. 
I'm ready to eat. Dinner is served. Got my sweet potatoes, cornbread, macaroni and cheese, cabbage, meatloaf, and a ginger ale.